Joaquin. Wait, why is right? Joaquin Phoenix playing the Joker? Well, that's because the question that we got. We don't DC have time for that is one. Like <laughs> scrambling to do something. He's playing him in something. I don't even I think a solo film. I think it's a solo um, I hear the premise is that he is a failed comedian who turns to a life of crime. So you're saying we're all one bad yes. day away. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's no. It's a little too close. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, I'm saying that doesn't sound like a good premise to me because I was like, <laughs> I know those guys and they're not that smart. <laughs> Hello, goblins and ghouls. Welcome to the Meet Cute. My name is Zach. I'm Edward. And I'm Haley. Hi. And because it's the 1st of October, it's the first episode of The Meat Spoon. (laughs) That's lightning. Is that is that woman okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, we have a super special guest here today. Uh, they're a very funny comic and writer. Please give it up if you're by yourself. Clap anyway uh, <laughs> for Jess Tom. Yes, I love the applause. Hello. <laughs> oh, they're still clapping. <laughs> oh my I know. gosh, calm down, they guys. Just, they just can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jess, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, so this podcast, we normally talk about romantic comedies, but we thought for October it'd be fun to blend the world of rom-coms with the world of horror movies. So we're doing a whole bunch of different things, something different every week. Uh, do you generally like romantic comedies? You know, I, I don't. And I only just realized this when I went to see, um, Crazy Rich Asians, which if you're listening, um, I'm Asian just so you know (laughs) Um, i don't know if you knew that it's an audio medium (laughs) (laughs) um so i i went to see crazy rich asians on opening night because of course i had to for the culture and like 15 minutes in the movie i was like wait a second (laughs) i've like never seen a movie like this before (laughs) and i realized afterwards that actually i have while i have seen quite a few romantic comedies i've actually pretty much only seen like lesbian romantic comedies and i've like never seen a straight one and that was like the first time i had ever sat all the way through like a straight <laughs> romantic comedy oh uh, we suck don't we <laughs> it's no it's not that it's not that straight people suck it's that <laughs> their interests are not the same as mine. <laughs> like well, I don't know if I should not spoil Crazy Rich Asians. I mean, I got mm. home from that movie and I started crying to Zach and I was like, this is the best movie I've ever seen. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. And I enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't cry to Zach. Um, <laughs> But wow. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Maybe you should be a little introspective about your emotions. <laughs> Edward, cry to me I, right uh, now. <laughs> I have to go, everyone. <laughs> so, so you're definitely lukewarm on rom-coms as a general genre, would you say? Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Although I do appreciate um, people's takes on rom-coms. That works, yeah. (laughs) That's what we do. (laughs) As a podcast that mostly watches the bad ones, it's surprising that we have any kind of, like, find any joy in anything that, like, Jennifer Aniston does. (laughs) Post friends. Oh, she's hard to look at. (laughs) It's like looking at, you know, a bottle of water. Well, uh, you're going to be upset to hear about our other guest for the night. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on out, Jenny. Jennifer. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, not again. Hi. <laughs> Every time. Oh, Jess, hi. That's my Jennifer Aniston impression. That was very good. Thank you. Uh, um, this always happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a nickel. <laughs> um, but uh, so we'll, we'll talk about the other side of the coin, horror films. Love them, leave them. Uh, can't get enough of them. List them. them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a big fan of horror. Um, yes. And yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big horror fan. What's your favorite uh, spook film? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. That right now, I don't know the exact answer. I'm, I bet that that's later fair. I'm going to think of it. But, you know, right now I'm really obsessed with Hereditary. It was good. Oh. <laughs> which, like, everybody, yeah, everybody is. But. Haley did not like I, she did not. Well, I didn't say I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not fun. <laughs> I could not sleep that whole night. Um, I watched it with these two, and uh, I 
last year I got like really into the spooky films. I was like, give me more spooks, nothing scary enough. And then I watched this and I could not sleep for two nights and it ruined my life. <laughs> it's true. It's really, it was like while I was watching it, I was like, this is fine. These white people are fucked up, but that's not my family. <laughs> so that's fine. And then I like got home and for the next two weeks, I was like, did something happen to me? Like, yeah. <laughs> why can't I breathe? <laughs> um, it was messed up. Oh, you know what? I don't know if Annihilation counts as a horror movie. No, but that was a good movie. It was. It really scared me. Yeah. <laughs> when the bear, Ooh, uh, that was a good scene, <laughs> yes. screamed like a lady. <laughs> yes. Didn't care oh, for that. Not a fan. Because uh, uh, bears, I mean, you know, hot take here. Bears are pretty scary. <laughs> so you have it scream like a person. Mm-mm. Nah, I won't go on that field trip. Uh. <laughs> anyway, Annihilation. Uh, everyone go see it, especially for the silver <laughs> Natalie past. Portman dance at the end. Ugh, I hated that part. But uh, that's yeah, fine. no, that was terrible. Mm. That was, that was <laughs> Once terrible. Jennifer Jason Lee was like, "I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is," and then she exploded. No, no, it's Jennifer went. Jason Lee, not Lenny from A Prince of Men. Edward, <laughs> you're doing the wrong impression. She wasn't. She wasn't of my. <laughs> ah, well, I. I, I can't find a way to picture Jennifer Jason Lee, whose name I never remember. Jennifer Jason Lee. Jennifer Jason. Je- no, if you say it a third time, she'll appear. Please <laughs> don't. Oh, please, please. And we already had Jennifer. <laughs> we have One how many per Jennifers? episode. <laughs> it's only the first episode of the Meat Spook. We can't get that spooky. <laughs> I can never see her as a good actress. Is she good in anything? She Oscar nominated like three Wait, years see ago. Wait, see who? For what? Uh, JJL. Okay. Well, hey, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I'm going to go eat your hummus now. <laughs> Not no. again. <laughs> That's guest hummus. <laughs> um, but yeah, any like classic horror films that you like? Like the, the Freddy Kruegs? Oh, man. You know, okay. I don't know if this counts. Now we're going off of horror movies and into a totally other medium. But um, <laughs> I've read a lot of horror manga uh-huh. And wow. that I'm like very, very into. Um, there's there's a series called Uzumaki by um, an artist, Junji Ito, that's about, uh, I don't know, this, it doesn't sound scary or interesting saying it like <laughs> this. It's about a town that gets overtaken by like weird things concerning spirals happen. Okay. Like, you know, people become obsessed with like the shape of snails and like stare at them all day and then like, you know, they open the bathtub and the dad has like twisted himself into a spiral. <gasps> and like that that's like really what kind of horror medium I'm interested in. Oh. That's like sick. Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, that's interesting. It's gross. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, Japanese horror is really it's like like, I feel like whereas American horror is very about, like, the worst thing that can happen is that you're going to die. The mm-hmm. thing is going to get you and then you die. Japanese horror is about just, like, seeing something really scary. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you just see it. And, and you have you to, like, live, live the with rest it. of your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a different kind of horror I feel like American films should explore. <laughs> Trauma. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Well, uh, this is a romantic comedy podcast. Uh, <laughs> Good. We're here to have fun. Uh, hope you're all having fun. If you're still clapping, that's fucked. Uh, you don't <laughs> please, have to do that. Please stop. But uh, what we're doing today to kick off the meat spook is we're blending the world of horror films and romance and playing a round of horror movie Tinder. Yeah. Do we have a soundbite for that? Um, um, y- yeah. Uh, let's we'll have the, we'll play the soundbite right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go. Horror. 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 Tinder. Horror. Horror. Tinder. 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 Horror. horror. Kissy. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Can we just hear that one more time, just to yeah, make sure that's yeah, working right? Maybe. Right, press Get the button. The... Uh, Jess, will you press the button real quick? I'm pressing. Okay. Horror. 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 horror Tinder. Horror, Tinder. Horror. Kissy. Oh, good, good, good. Um, oh, good. Uh, so this is how it's going to work. Yes. Where we've, uh, let's say we found a bunch of Tinder profiles for some of uh, horror's biggest bads. We did. If you will. We did not make these. Mm-hmm. We were swiping through the app looking for love and we said, boy, that sounds familiar. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to. She's got so out of breath. Here's the thing. <laughs> He's scared, okay? <laughs> I'm very out of shape. <laughs> I had two donuts yesterday. <laughs> two? Yeah, someone brought one to improv. 
Uh, and you a, turned it into two. Yeah, yeah. Because it was improv and you yes, could do that. And. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool sentence, right, guys? I like how it implies that a guy like just brought a donut <laughs> and was like, anyone want this donut? He and wasn't on the team. He stood in the doorway <laughs> twirling it around his finger and said, <laughs> I was like, does anyone else see that man? They're like, no. No. Uh, boy, was it good. <laughs> um, so back to the, the sweet, steamy yeah, yeah. romance of hot, mm-hmm. bad guys. Mm-hmm. Edward, do you want to explain how this is going to work? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, as Zach said, we found these uh, we found these Tinder profiles as we were um, swiping late at night. And uh, we, we've compiled a list for them. Uh, of them, and uh, we're going to read them out to you all. We're going to discuss each one and decide whether or not we'd uh, swipe right or swipe left, as now, it were. Now, right is good. Right is a good to go, yeah. And left is a no thank right. you. No thanks. I don't want to. Um, I am not experienced with Tinder because I've been dating Zachary for uh, eight and a half years, so bef- pre-Tinder times. And I'm very experienced with Tinder because I'm a bad guy in a rom-com. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Horror. Horror. Oh, horror. 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 Oh, horror. Horror. Tinder. Horror. Horror. Tinder. Oh, can't see. Oh, know. God. This, cool. This Fun is time. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's just get started. Um, and I want you to tell me if you're going to swipe right, left, and why. I'm like a teacher. I need a, a why for every answer. Are yeah, we yeah. going to super like anybody? Ooh, ooh. You get one super oh, like, that's so wow. use it wisely. Right. Oh, no. One super Should like Should we each. go back and super like after all the options? I don't know. I think you got to live life on the edge. Oh, no. I think, okay. Yeah. yeah. You get a feeling. Because you can't do that on Tinder, right? You only get one super like a day? Question mark? So everybody come back tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> let's all get on Tinder right now. <laughs> Wait, is that a thing on Tinder? Yeah, yes. Super liking? Yeah. What it, does that mean? It means that, if I remember correctly, you go... It goes right into their, like, quote-unquote inbox... Just to it, be like, this this guy likes you, instead of you matching with them. Right. Normally on yeah. Tinder, it has to be mutual and on some levels consensual because both people have agreed that they like each other. Sure. To super like somebody is to completely bypass right. that stage <laughs> and just be like, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> and um, That sounds illegal and ill-advised. Yeah. That's why it is once a day, I think. <laughs> but can you pay for more? I think you can, right? You can... Is there a Tinder... Why would you pay for more to do a feature that automatically disqualifies you <laughs> in the person's eyes? No one's saying it's a good move, but can you do it? <laughs> like pain to be lonely. <laughs> hey, Abby. I don't know you. If someone super liked me, I'd be like, calm down. I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So we'll get into it. Uh, Haley, do you want to read this first one off to us? Oh. We, we, we're on Tinder. Picture it. Uh, you just opened Sicily, up the app and a, and a picture came up And uh, Haley, what are we looking at? This is Xenomorph from Alien uh, Age 39 uh, from Space <laughs> And the profile reads as this I may be covered in slime But when I'm with you The L and the M will be switched Winky faced Smile I get that no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fun That was nice Short prince <laughs> <laughs> I terrorized an entire space crew And found my way to Earth So you know I can find the way to your heart Plus my tongue is just a little version of me <laughs> Ready to snack up the honeys with finesse Finesse is capitalized for all you folks <laughs> So it's like finesse yeah. Let my hard phosphorus claws braid your hair Before we dip into a hot bath Of my acid saliva Sounds like paradise to me Ooh mm. Right okay um, Who wants to do the honors Start us off I would swipe right so that's a no for you. Why? No, no, that's a yes. Yeah. That's oh, a yes. that's a rest. Oh, I'm so So bad remember how in every culture, left is like evil and right is good? Sure. It's in, this, <laughs> it's in the same thing. Got it. <laughs> I swipe right. There's something about, um, I think that the slime smile thing is really, really clever. And that's funny right off the bat. It's important. Uh, the Xenomorph's a little bit older than I would like. 39 is up there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but international, which could be fun. A lot of, you know, different culture. That's true. And uh, I'm going to tell you the, the honest truth is that the hot bath of the acid saliva, <laughs> if it's not so hot that it burns my skin off, which it would, most likely, <laughs> um, before it gets to that point, what a blissful few seconds of, of stress relief. And she would braid your hair whilst uh, yeah. it was going on. So. Like, it would hurt, but... 
it'd be a few seconds of like, this is what I needed after a long week. So mm-hmm. I'm going to swipe mm-hmm. right. Give, mm-hmm. give him a chance. I have, okay. I have a question. Absolutely. Sure. Is the, is the xenomorph canonically gendered? I, I don't, I've never seen Alien. I know that alien. there is a brood queen or a, okay. a queen. There's okay. a xenomorph queen. Um, I think this is like a, a soldier. I, yeah, I don't, oh I, then I don't know. Middle management. Mm-hmm. Like. Oh, so it really could be anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. a yeah. xenomorph is not the name of the alien. It's it is a just species. a species. Yeah. A species. Oh. So, okay. I only asked that question for me. Sure. Uh, that has uh, nothing to do with my answer. <laughs> um, okay, so this is funny for me because uh, I, I do want to say that as we were preparing for this recording, I specifically said that I wanted to talk about Alien, (laughs) but I have never seen Alien. (gasps) The reason why I said I wanted to talk about this is because I've seen um, certain specialty uh, sex toy companies (laughs) that make (gasps) xenomorph dildos. Now, question, is it the head (laughs) or is it the tiny tongue that is also a head? In fact, it is somebody's imagined idea of what the xenomorph's penis anatomically oh, might worse, be. Oh, worse, you say. Okay, Whoa. great. <laughs> Why? Um, because if you ever wanted to swipe right on xenomorph, <laughs> you should be able to have Zachary. that full experience. Um, and I will say, I think I want to say that based on the xenomorph dildos that I have seen, and I actually think... That it's true to say that I've seen a few different interpretations <laughs> from different companies. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a very actually vast industry that a lot of people don't know about that I know a lot about for some reason. Specifically xenomorph related or just sex mm, industry in general? I'm going to say more specifically than sex industry in general is the like fantasy creature gotcha. dildo, like oh indie dildo industry. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to swipe right. On the xenomorph, Ooh. I likes what I sees. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, um, I'm also gonna swipe right because Ooh. they're so they're so uh, eloquent in their profile. It's refreshing. Um, <laughs> a lot of the other profiles uh, that we'll discuss, maybe not so much, but this is. Uh, I mean, they've capitalized finesse. Uh, they're, they're describing their phosphorus claws, their acid saliva, the clever thing in the beginning about the L and the M being switched. I, uh, you know they're well read, you know. Mm, true. But also, if you've seen Alien, you know they're not well read. If you, <laughs> they do not speak. You know they are a chattery teeth little <laughs> goblin. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to swipe left. I, I. Racist. <laughs> yeah, to an entire species of xenomorphs. Sorry. I'm just not into xenomorphs. <laughs> it's just a preference. It's not them. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not a race thing. I'm just uh, not I, into xenomorphs. I've met a lot of really nice xenomorphs. I'm I just, just not... think, you know, my parents wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we go to different churches, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was like your southern answer <laughs> coming little, through. They're Baptists. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, it's not doing it for me. Um, I don't know. It's head's too smooth. It reminds me of like, (laughs) (laughs) it reminds me of like Vin Diesel. I don't know. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not trying to. What a compliment to Vin Diesel. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not trying to do Vin Diesel. Come on, don't insult that xenomorph. (laughs) Rude as hell. I'm sorry. And just, I don't know. 39's a little old for me. So that's fair. Yeah. All right. Shall we Shall we go to the next one? Yeah, I think so. We got three rights and a left. So some of us are sliding into that Xenomorph's DMs. Oh, or they are sliding into us with their weird, gross <laughs> dildo. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> now, now, don't yuck anybody's yum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right. Let's see who we got next. It's very true. Oh, oh, my God. It is late at Hi. night. Okay, we have Michael Myers, age 30, from Haddonfield, the silent yet thoughtful type, a tall snack. I often wear a mask, but at the end of the day, I like to kick back and be my true self, a giant, unstoppable killing machine. Major family issues, I killed my whole family. Know my way around a kitchen knife, I use it to kill my whole family. Can you say freshly chopped cilantro? Inquire within. 
Yes, I sw- I 100% 100% swipe right on Michael Myers. Okay, well we're going to talk about how quickly you said yes. Um. <laughs> I've been thinking about this one for a while, especially when we found out we were doing this episode. I was thinking like, yes, I don't know. He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Like his mask's spooky, but it's a mask. He probably looks like a person under there. I'm gonna take a few seconds to reevaluate my entire relationship. Uh anyone else wanna <laughs> hop in? <laughs> um this is a this is a hard pass for me. Uh he sounds sweet. Freshly chomped cilantro. Uh he's got a nice <laughs> face um on top of his mask. <laughs> I just think he says kill. A lot. <laughs> and I know that's what he likes to do, but it's a little, it's like those, it's, it's, it's like those profiles where the guy has a picture of him holding a gun. Mm. You're like, ah, mm. he's one of those people. So I feel like uh, right now his picture is, is just a headshot, but I feel like um, if we were to swipe to another picture, it would be him, you know, stabbing somebody. Mm. And yeah. that's just, you know. Or holding up their body like a fish. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was this big. Uh, uh, I can't. Yeah. Silver leg. Um, <laughs> um, this is a swipe left for me. Yes. And no, I, that's a no. That's God a damn it, I can't win this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I will say, um, it's not, okay, it's not that he's a man. It's that <laughs> he is a man who wears a mask, which makes me feel like he's not in touch with himself mm. and what maybe his Ooh. core issues are. And I don't want him to project any of that onto me. Like, I need somebody who can be vulnerable with me, you know? Aww. And he won't even show his face. And That's... so I, I also happen to know that this is a guy who stabs people who fuck. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I don't think we can. Yeah, who's to say as soon as it's done, he's like, all right, well, you know the deal. It's like a praying mantis situation. (laughs) Also, on the mask note, I wonder why he wears the mask, because it's not like he's like, oh, I need to hide my identity so that the crimes, I don't get caught for the crimes, because he's, as we've discussed, maybe eight feet tall, (laughs) 300 pounds, and wears like a dirty jumpsuit. So the mask (laughs) is not the thing that's like... Also, he goes by his name. (laughs) (laughs) He's not like the slasher or anything. He kills in a hometown that he's so well known in. (laughs) Yeah. He's not that smart. Uh, So for that reason and and others, I'm also going to say left. I don't want to talk to him. We're going to have to chop you. Haley, though, was (laughs) was quick oh my to God. swipe it was right. as if you've been waiting years to do this not years i'm not like into it when i watch the movie but in the context of thinking about this episode i was like which creepy guy would i huh i did not think about which one i would yeah. because <laughs> i'm not a weirdy yeah i was not expecting a lot of rights in this <laughs> well sorry guys uh jess you want to read this next one out absolutely Uh, This is The Babadook from The Babadook, 41, Australia. (laughs) Well-dressed man. I'm seven foot two. I'd love to go on a date with you. Just let me in and won't you see? We'll get along better than better can be. I'm great with kids. I've got a big heart. I'll kill your dog. Ignore that part. I love to smile with my big teeth. I'm a physical manifestation of your own grief. No fatties. (laughs) Oh. Hmm. Um. Uh, This is a toughie. This reminds me of, uh, like a a guy in high school who was very nice, but, like, a little too smart and knew it. And tried to like show mm. it a lot, and which mm. it could be a little off-putting, guy or girl, but the type of person who at that age is, you know, they're finding themselves out and stuff, and that's kind of the the road they tried out. Um, and I don't think I would vibe with that person because it's clear they haven't changed. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a left for me. I'm I'm gonna say um, left. I I don't like the Babadook's um, spooky voice, but like it's not even that spooky. It's just like. Isn't that it? Baba. Yeah, right? Baba. 
<laughs> Coming up, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me playing the Bob. <laughs> this is supposed to be Jennifer Anderson. We can cut that. <laughs> um, I I appreciate his style. I do, but ultimately, um, his arms are very long, <laughs> and um, uh, he he makes me scared. In like as like it makes me feel like a kid, and I don't want that in a relationship, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna say left. Movie. Uh, I'm going to swipe right, if only because look at that face. Look <laughs> at that. Cute. He's so happy to be here. <laughs> He's like standing like, yay, I'm nervous. <laughs> He's got a hat. He dressed up for this date. Aww. Aww. He's like, he's just, he's just nervous. He's a nervous guy. Um, and also I've got a lot of grief to manifest. So he's <laughs> huge. Um, so swipe right for me. Um, I'm a swipe left on the Babadook. Uh, I just, okay. My experience of watching the Babadook movie was that I went into it so terrified and so afraid of what I was going to see. And then I was very disappointed. Really? Yes. I thought that it was not a good movie and was definitely not scary. Um, And I don't, I just don't think, I don't want to date someone who's that easily mistaken for a coat. (laughs) (laughs) I just want to really know that it's you. I don't. (laughs) We've been having a lot of, oh, it's a coat. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're hot. (laughs) Oh, babe. Oh. You go to like hook up at a party, but you just are in the room where they leave all the coats. <laughs> There's so many Bobby yeah, dudes like, in here. Bobby, you in here? <laughs> Somebody comes in and is like, hey, put my jacket down. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> so, so Edward is the only one who's sliding yeah, I to think the Bobby. We're, I think we've all done that, though. Uh, everyone's been saying like one yes and then three no's each, each time. Yeah. So far, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got really no. No hive mind so far on this one. We'll do like one more and then take a break. Let's say one more and then we'll then we're gonna regroup and uh, maybe maybe check our tinders and see if uh, Michael Myers got back to Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> uh, so we'll do one more. Um, Edward, you want to read this one off? Yeah, this is uh, Carrie White from Carrie. Uh, she is sixteen from Chamberlain, Maine. John 316, just a virgin blossoming into full-fledged womanhood, ready to party, LOL. TBH, I just need a date to the prom. It'll be fun, I swear. Telekinesis, more like helikinesis, LOL, LOL. And there's a quote, though she be but little, she is fierce, XO. <laughs> okay, so now um, for, the, for the purpose of not being um, creepy people, let's um, all... all look at this like we are teenagers can we do I know, that that's what right. i was gonna yeah. leave yeah so let's look at this like we are We're also drake. the same age <laughs> <laughs> yes actually funny you mention it come on out drake <laughs> oh my god hey it's just me i dressed up as drake i'm sorry <laughs> the meet cute studios is just a revolving door of who's yeah, who <laughs> we, really, we know some people uh so, so you're like 16, yeah. you're staying home, you had soccer practice. Sure, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're of age. You're just looking, th- on you. looking through Tinder and you're, you say, oh, it's Carrie from AP Bio. Just flipping back and forth from Tinder to DeviantArt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As it goes. <laughs> hmm. Um, hmm. I would, I like to think that I'm a, a kind enough person. That I would say, you know what, she's looking for a date to prom, she's fine, like, yeah, she's not the most popular person, but like, Whatever, I'm not either. Uh, if I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna swipe right on Carrie. I think I will too. From what I know of Carrie, I haven't actually seen the original Carrie. Um, I saw the one with Chloe Grace Moretz. That I don't know, but so I know the mm, character. Right, right. I know the character. I get it. Um, I I feel like she's like she's like a bad bitch, like just like misunderstood. You know, I don't know. I feel like there's something there. I think I would give it a chance. Maybe I wouldn't like send the first message, but I would like swipe right and see what happens. She seems eager anyway in this. Yeah. To like reach out to you. So I guess, yeah. Yeah. So you know what? Yes. I'd swipe right and then see what happens. You know, what's funny is that the, okay. The left photo, which I will now describe, uh, 
in which she is smiling. She's just been crowned prom queen. She is a misunderstood outcast girl who's having the moment of her life. She looks beautiful. Um, that's a swipe left for me. Mm. The right photo where mm. she is, as we know her, covered in blood uh, and her eyes are crazy. That's a... <laughs> clear swipe right to me Ooh, like great. clearly i'm like this girl and me like we have something <laughs> in common <laughs> at your prom they dumped uh, pig's blood all over you no but i wish they did oh yeah <laughs> that's well, the theme of prom was we got a surprise look up <laughs> uh, this isn't prom <laughs> and just a reminder we can all use our super likes whenever so, oh, so if that blood's oh. really doing it for you, hmm. I think I know who I'm saving mine for. Uh, <laughs> marriage. But uh, uh. <laughs> your wedding vow is just, I super like, super you. like you. Someone oh. out there must do that. Oh. That's, that's cute that's and weird. Kind of weird and cute. Yeah. That's the that's worst it. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also going to swipe right. Um, she's, she seems sweet. Weird, but sweet. Um, not knowing her as a person, the telekinesis uh, thing came uh, kind of out of left field. But uh, <laughs> I would, seems... I would dig that. Yeah, the telekinesis. Yeah, you part. say on our good side, it'd be fun. That's true. I just think that this is the manifestation of trauma that I'm interested in. Oh, there you go. Like, the oh. Babadook manifestation of trauma, I'm not interested. I'm like, he's it's creepy, he's annoying, he shows up in your bedroom when you don't want him there. That sounds really bad to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carrie... <laughs> seeks revenge like that is like very to me it's ambitious she's it's on the like, offensive yes yeah. yes exactly she's taking action to change the way that things have been for her and i really admire that wow that's good Great. it's just like who, whichever one of us takes her to prom it's unfortunate that our prom date is on going to get covered in pig's blood that's true. That's true. Uh, it must be embarrassing for Just us. Just dress yeah. for it. But yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing plastic everything? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Get in the, get in the limo. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to get back to finding love. Aw. This is the meat spook. Can we, can we hit that button one more time? Uh, uh, horror, horror, horror. Horror, horror, Tinder. Horror, Tinder. Horror, Tinder. Casey. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. Baby. Thank you. That um, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, should we just get back into this game? Yeah, we've this done sweet, sweet game. Four so far. We're all hot and bothered. <laughs> let's, uh, let's hop back in and find some love. Okay. Let me let me get this going. Oh, good. Oh, yes. Just, oh, baby. Jess, will you do us the honors? Yes. Uh, this next one is Freddy Krueger, no age listed. <laughs> Elm Street. I think striped sweaters and fedoras are the epitome of fashion, and people die, all caps, over my razor glove. I've been killing innocent teenagers since 1984, and I'm honestly pretty good at it. Hope I can be the man of your dreams. Uh. Likes. Dead kids. <laughs> Dislikes, boiler rooms, caffeine, and then a quote at the end. Live fast, die young, by the hands of me and my clawed glove. Hmm. Lots to take in here. Lots to take in. <laughs> um, I feel like um, my instinct, like, okay, like if I'm just like laying in bed and I'm swiping like real fast, because I've seen people do it and it's like, poo, 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 mm -hmm. people act fast. I think I would swipe left um on the fedora alone yes yeah. yes um it's a now, bad sign exactly now That's there true. are clearly other faults um killing teenagers <laughs> no, being, the fedora though being, <laughs> <laughs> being one of them but that would be the thing that would make me first go i don't know yeah nothing about it so i remember going into an fye for your entertainment uh as a kid and I was looking through like the DVDs and whatnot. I ended up in the horror section. I saw the poster for one of the Nightmare on Elm Streets with Freddy. And I remember thinking like that must be the worst, most graphic, upsetting movie in the world. And I will never be old enough to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking like I'm, that's never going to be appropriate for me. Um, and of course now um, 
familiar with his work. It's kind of like swiping on a celebrity. <laughs> uh, but even so, just swiping on it and just seeing that, I get the same feeling of like, I want no part of that. Uh, so it's going to be a left for me. Well, I was, I was thinking right just looking at his headshot alone, his his profile picture alone. Um, I know nobody out, out there can see it, uh, but he's... It's kind of like a glamour shot. Mm. He's in his he's in his costume, <laughs> and his head is tilted so slightly, and his hand is resting on his, or his head is resting on his his gloved. He's hand. saying cheese. Oh, he's definitely <laughs> in the process of saying cheese. But the more I look at it, the more I think that it's it's staged, and it's a little sad. <laughs> oh, it's. He needs this. He needs this Tinder account. He's really looking for somebody, um, and I I just can't be that somebody for him. And I I don't want to commit to this this guy. Who look at him? Look how look how ugly and lonely and <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. I feel bad for him. Uh, Edward just took off his headphones, put them on the table, and walked out of the apartment. Uh, <laughs> Just muttering, I can't, I just, <laughs> under his breath. Oh, he's the real nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a left for me, so. Um, looking at this picture of Freddy and looking at his glove with the blades on it, I am reminded of um, when I used to work at a sex shop and teach sex education workshops, which is probably why I know this xenomorph dildo thing. Um, <laughs> Sounds right. Uh, and how we used to teach that you can still get, like, intense, like, acrylics in a manicure and, like, still be able to safely finger somebody as long as you, uh, as long as you wear latex gloves with a cotton ball on the tip of each of the fingers. Whoa. Um. (laughs) That sounds so medical, though. Like, ah, let me put on my... (laughs) Latex gloves with the cotton. Now that we're in the moment, let's take a quick break (laughs) so I can put on my glove. (laughs) It depends. Well, they do make like black gloves, so like it's more, it's less like that weird like off white, right? Or Or that purple, yeah, powdery, (laughs) yeah. yeah. They are powderless gloves. Oh, good. Um, In fact, so that's that's a little that's a little sex education. uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, But I do think this is all just to say that I don't know that you could fit another glove over the glove he's already wearing. (laughs) Imagine that though. Imagine a glove, a rubber glove that was made for that glove. (laughs) It would really. It's imagine the cotton balls. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) At the same time, though, only one hand is gloved, so you you might not even need it. The other one's badly. But that's burned. probably oh, badly his... burned. But oh, it's but his you... dominant hand, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he'll do a better job with this one, but it's also more difficult because of the blades. Uh, I don't know. I think you know. I think this is a swipe left for me too. Sorry, Fred. Wow, Freddy. But now I feel horrible. <laughs> See, look at him. He kills innocent teenagers. So do all for, of these yeah, that's, people. That's true. Also, just as a side note, the reason he got burned is because he was hurting children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're all like, oh, he seems like a nice guy. We nah. know he's not. <laughs> the parents rounded Even when up he was normal, him. he was just not good. Yeah, right. he was a bad yeah. dude. Honest, I'm going to report this to Tinder that he, he shouldn't <laughs> be on the app. There we go, yeah. yeah uh, it's a hard left. Sorry, Fred. I think... I think the issue with Freddy Krueger specifically is that he targets like a very specific age group and I don't know it feels very pointed where he is like yeah I specifically want to kill the teenagers I think it's that he specifically enters the dreams of teenagers Mm. yeah Mm -hmm. that's gross it's like you thought (laughs) you saw the last of me (laughs) yeah but like adults dreams are stupid too right then I had a dream that I was on a plane (laughs) And I woke up. Did you land? No, I just woke up and I was like, was I on a plane? Because nothing about it was like dreamy. So at least he's going into a place with some meat. But so, you know what would have made that dream more interesting would have been if Freddy Krueger had been there. Right. I don't think he wants to have the responsibility <laughs> of, of beefing up my dreams. He gets there and he's like, ooh, I'm going to enter with my fedora and my glove. And oh, this is boring. Uh, any peanuts? And I'm Can like, you believe no, I'm I got good. through TSA? <laughs> All right, shall we? Yeah, yeah. nobody yeah. likes him. <laughs> Bye, Freddy. Bye, Fred.
Mm. Oh, yay. Ooh, okay, yeah, here we witch. go. <laughs> I'll read this one. Uh, this is the Blair Witch, uh, 130, <laughs> and uh, Burkittsville, Maryland. Looking for someone to keep me company in a nice, quiet, cozy cabin in the woods. I can be a bit of a snuggle bug, a bit of a torturous <laughs> witch. You never know which version you're going to get. I have horse hair for skin, and I am proud of it. <laughs> My feet never touch the ground, so if that's a problem, you can touch the doorknob, then turn it, open the door, and get out of my pain house. <laughs> If you piss me off, you best believe I'll have you standing in the corner staring at the wall. Also, please, no pictures. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man. Hmm. I'm swiping right. <laughs> yeah? She's got a big personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Any other, any other follow-up? I don't know. I mean, the cabin sounds very nice and cozy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. She's confident as hell. The horse hair thing's weird, but I'll, I can learn to love it. And I don't know. I just, I, I'm not saying I need to like date this person or anything like that, but I'm saying I need to know more about this. Mm, So you're interested. Very interested. Which, which warrants a swipe right. Oh yeah. Um, I'm a strong swipe right for the Blair Witch. Mm. Um, A super like or a, or a swipe right? I just, now that I know that there's a scarcity to the super like, I feel like I have to mm. ration it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I just, I don't, I, I, I'm going to save my super like for now, but it's sure. definitely a swipe right for me. Personally, um, my type is uh, mean, scary old ladies, <laughs> <laughs> which is sure, yeah, why yeah. I enjoyed the Devil Wears Prada. Um, <laughs> I'm into that. And also... You know, she's thoughtful. She leaves you things at night. <laughs> you wake up to a gift. It's nice, you know. It's a scavenger hunt. You're looking. You're you're looking for her. Like I, I want to keep searching. She'll crochet you like pentagrams out of sticks. And stuff. She leaves you personal things. That's yeah. your friend's teeth. <laughs> you recognize those teeth. They're not just any teeth. Yeah, they're your friend's teeth. That's so sweet. And you were wondering what happened to him. There you go. Um, she's a homeowner. She owns <laughs> land. <laughs> Those woods are hers. Uh, she, in the later films, she uh, has some time travel stuff going on. So wow, I can... did not know that. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I saw the most recent Blair are, are Witch, you, everyone. You're the guy that bought the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> the ticket for the latest You one. were the director, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. For... <laughs> We've been waiting to meet you. <laughs> Everyone, it's the ticket buyer. <laughs> they throw me a parade. <laughs> oh, my heart hurts. Um. Anyway, yeah, she can. She her her woods are like weird and time travely. So like people show up a week later, uh, like the next day. Um. That's them. <laughs> hey, shut up, cops. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, she's powerful. She's she's a confident lady, and she seems like secure in her home life. So this is a plus. I love horse hair, so <laughs> this is this is a this is a nice swipe right for me. Um, you know, uh, when we first started this, I thought I was going to be a swipe left, but after hearing all of your arguments, I think I'm going to join you and swipe right on the Blair Witch. It's a good thing we were here, because if you were alone late at night, you would have swiped left and missed out on what could have been a yeah. fun as hell ride. That's true. Or the most recent Blair Witch, which was not a fun ride. <laughs> <laughs> and just as a side note, the no pictures thing I think is really interesting because we're all so tied to social media mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. talking about relationships on social media and how we, it's, it'd be nice just to unplug from that and like mm. really get off the grid, disappear yeah. for a good long time. Or long, uh, maybe worry, forever. Worry your parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, be healthy. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll take this one. Uh, it's Pennywise from the film It. Uh, the age is eternal. Uh, they're from Derry, Maine. In town for just a short while. Great with kids, but I've got a dark side too, winky face. I'm a grower and a shower. Ew. I'll go down on you so hard I gotta rest for 25 years after, lol. Hashtag let's float together. Another winky face. Mm. And then we got a quote. Baby, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. <laughs> a little, little T-Swift. Um... <laughs> I gotta say, both the um, 
the the two winky faces and the Taylor Swift quote at the end <laughs> are big red flags for me. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the screaming clown picture? <laughs> I can be open-minded, but Taylor Swift, um, I don't know. She hasn't, she hasn't denounced Nazis. I even, you know, I like her. <laughs> I that, like her, but... Is that true? Yeah, it's true that uh, Taylor Swift has, bec- because she has not been political and wasn't political around the election, whereas uh-huh. a lot of other pop stars oh. were, um, and then never said anything after the election happened, um, she's been elevated in status among white supremacists oh, as no. their their pop star they call her Aryan princess <gasps> oh mm, no gross yes and people and she hasn't said anything about it and then oh. when people have like written articles being like hey taylor swift like you need to like speak out about this she sends cease and desists to those people <gasps> oh hmm. which is to say that that makes me nervous about pennywise <laughs> Well, he's very white, so... Oh, so, correct me if I'm wrong, it's pretty easy just to be like, hey, Nazis are bad. Yeah, <laughs> yo, yeah. You can I don't think that, that would be anyway. a bad PR move. We just did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, here at the Meet Cute, we think that Nazis are bad, bad, bad. No, no, no. If you're a Phew. Nazi and you're... <laughs> Could you imagine if we were just like, yeah, when and you got something bad about Taylor Swift and you hear the door lock? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's so easy to just be like, that's bad. I don't know. Or at least not sue the people who are saying, <laughs> yeah. can you say yeah. that they're bad? And like, it's, you know, I don't know about that move. Well, now, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't, um. Well, speaking of someone not quite as bad as Taylor Swift, <laughs> Pennywise from it. Uh, <laughs> um, I am going to say left because they're only in town for a little bit. Clearly, they're looking for some fun, but that's not my style. Mm. And I don't need to be, you know, getting some feelings for you. And then you leave town and you're not answering my texts for days. And, you know, you're not for years, Mm -hmm. 25 25 years. years. You come back. I'm much older and it's just it's not going to work. So it's a left for me. Pennywise. Um, uh, Pennywise, what's what's his thing? Like, I genuinely don't know. I haven't seen it. um, I just finished reading it. Uh, That's why I know this. Uh, anyway, it's a, an extra dimensional creature that can shape shift into your worst fears. Oh. Technically, it's a woman. We find out at the end of the book. Spoiler alert. Yeah, you know um, about one tenth of those things from watching the movie. Right? Yeah, exactly. You know it's a clown. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say it, it's only a clown, though. No, uh, I mean he likes to. Uh, it likes to be a clown, like. <laughs> Because kids are afraid of clowns, and so that's like the easy thing. But um, yeah, it's it's whatever you're scared of. I'm gonna go left just because that's a cheap gimmick. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a Bogart and Harry Potter does. Except this came out. In the, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Shh. Um, I'm also gonna go left, if only because of this picture uh, on the right. Now, right. the picture on the left I'm digging, uh, it's the most recent It. Um, that is a sexy, sexy clown. Uh, the one on the right is of the one on the 90s, which mm-hmm. is only a slightly sexy clown. Uh, mm-hmm. He's. It looks like he's actually screaming at me. <laughs> like, it's not a picture of him screaming. It's almost as if he is currently screaming and I just can't hear it. Mm. And that scares me. And so that's a big no-no. On uh, 1990, it. So are we all left? I think oh. th- thus far, we've all been... Jess, did you swipe left? I didn't officially oh. say... Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Did not I just in. said I had fear of white supremacist intentions. Um, <laughs> Super like. <laughs> uh, I do think also that in the 1990s, it picture, I feel like you can see his uh, like bald cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. a little bit. And that's that's kind of unappealing to me. Mm. Like I would, I want the illusion, you know. <laughs> and like, you know, anybody can look however they want, but I just I don't like to see the edges on it. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, it was I. F- I think it was uh, Kathy Humes who tweeted something recently about clowns are terrifying because underneath the makeup they're men, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a left for me also for Pennywise. 
get out of here, Pennywise. I don't think a grown clown man should be talking to kids that much also. No. Yeah. There's something there. I mean, obviously. Okay. We got Dracula, Transylvania, Romania. I live lavishly in a castle in the Carpathian Mountains. It's pre-war and could use some love, but it's home, smiley face. A few things about me. I'm undead, centuries old, and a proud boyar for life. Yeah, I'm a Romanian aristocrat, and I want to suck your blood, winky face. I have three sexy bride sister roommates, so if you're the jealous type, back off. My biggest aspiration in life is to spread my vampiric disease and create an undead army. Likes blood, dislikes garlic, crosses holy water. And then the quote, so please, baby, please open your heart, catch my disease. It's an immediate right for me. <laughs> um, there's a cape. There's a cape and the bow tie combo uh, that did it. And nothing else. That's It's pure aesthetic. I'm into his look. And I would date a guy in that of a, a, a vampire anyway go on um i'm gonna use a super like here whoa wow. our first Ooh. super like wow. mm-hmm. um dracula is yeah I feel, I feel like any like stereotypical like cliche horror figure dracula's hot right and he's got like the he's got money he's like rich dracula's loaded um, he's, he's supposed undead. to be dead. He's undead. He's supposed to be very smart. And the thing is, if he like likes me enough, he won't kill me. I'll just become a vampire too. I don't know. That's true. And like the money situation's nice. He's got sweet hair and style. I don't know. And there's always like very like romantic Dracula depictions, aren't there? Right. Yeah, to a point. Yeah. To a point. I mean, there's, there's blood Oldman and death, movie. but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm obviously swiping right on Dracula. Hmm. Jess, any thoughts? I want to know. Can I date the bride sister roommates, but not Dracula? <laughs> like, can he hook me up with them? I guess he's your foot. Yeah, you to swipe right and find out. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's like really that's what sticks out to me mm. about this profile. Mm. I also notice that he does not like garlic, oh. which yeah. is his right. But I don't, <laughs> I don't actually know if if my lifestyle meshes with that. I mm. feel like I eat a lot of garlic, and that that's like important to me, actually. Wow, I don't know. This might just be a cultural difference here. Yeah, I mean, I would lose a lot um, on the Italian cooking, right? Good yeah. Good point. Right. Mm. Mm, I think you know. I don't think I don't think he needs me. I'm gonna do a swipe left on Dracula. Mm. I really hope you find the three sexy bride sister roommates, though. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, it could happen. Uh, I'm also going to say left. He seems very old fashioned, very old timey. Like we wouldn't have the same interests. Like he wouldn't want to hear about the modern stuff that I like. And I'd be bored with a lot of his stuff. He doesn't seem the type of guy who watches a lot of TV, which mm-hmm. I, I enjoy and unwinding for me. Um, so I think left. I just don't think that we are going to really mesh well. Hmm. Drac. He does look like somebody who's like, you want to play bridge? And you're like, oh, we just played bridge. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, how about we dust my books? Like, no. Uh, it's all the same book. <laughs> it's a blue book. <laughs> Dracula's hot, right? Maybe not yes, this like, depiction of Dracula, but I yeah. mean Dracula as a character like, is hot. He, like, I'm sure there's like a teen novel version who's like <laughs> jacked, but... <laughs> Uh, Eddie, you want to read this one? Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Toby from the Paranormal Activity series. Hmm. He is most likely a male. Um, (laughs) It is unknown when he is born. He is ancient. Um, And here's his profile. I want to watch you sleep. Nah, LOL, JK. I'm an old soul looking for that one true lifelong connection. Just as good in the bedroom. Let's film ourselves, (laughs) hee hee, as I am around the dinner table. Take me home to meet your family. All of them. <laughs> Warning, you may get scratch marks on your back. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm. I had no idea that Paranormal Activity had, like, a named ghost. I, I don't think it was until, like, the second, the one, second one. Okay, I've only seen the first one, mm. then. And I think that it's the funniest thing in the yeah. world <laughs> that they went with Toby. Toby <laughs> is an from the adorable office. name for a... Spider-Man. A, a deceased <laughs> character that manipulates children into giving him a human body. Yeah. 
They all said. There are no children. There are no children in the first paranormal Not activity. Not in the first one, no. There's like a baby in the second one. Yeah. And the third is a prequel. Oh, the, that's right. Of the first two. Two. Um, they got a lot going on. <laughs> And then there's the one that takes place in, like, Mexico or something. Is that even related to it? It's a spinoff. Sure. Um, but we're talking about just this profile oh, right now. yeah, baby. Just and boy, this for that, figure. It's all right. Toby seems fun. I'll talk to Toby. <laughs> <laughs> I got questions. I don't really like the idea of manipulating children, but needs a human body, so I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll ask some questions. I'm curious. Now, uh, Toby... Um, he or uh, it or what uh, Toby um, takes um, the form of like whatever it wants. Kind of. If I am remembering the movie, the first one correctly, he had like hooves. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, yeah, he has like little. And then like horns. Right? He has little goat-like feet because uh, when they put the powder down to get him to step through it, the little footsteps are like, oh. like goat steps. And then like, I think the, the bed, the, the bedroom door frame had like grooves in it from, from horns being scrapped <laughs> against it. Anyway, then he took over that woman's body and she watched that guy sleep for eight hours. So if like, if I could go like, hey, Tobes, take the form of Donald Glover. Is well, that an option? Well, I think Pennywise that he would could have, have done to... that, but you swiped left. But he's so not a fast. fear of mine. <laughs> he's <laughs> just like love. What, if, what if you were like, "Ooh, I'm so scared." Ooh, yikes. <laughs> ooh, so scared of Donald Glover. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just think he would have to literally take Donald Glover's body. Mm. Which I don't know if that's a pro or a con for you. It yeah, I'm not either. sure because <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just too sketchy. I think I have to go left. I yeah. can't. I can't like be sure that it'll work out for me. And yeah. Donald Glover, he might, you know, murder him after or take over his mind. This is also a hard left for me. Mm. He's got no picture. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I can't swipe right on someone who has no picture. No. Uh, I'm gonna agree with Zach and do do a right mm. because while there is no picture. Um, there's in the profile there's a nice blend of like dirty but also maybe a little maybe a little long term and uh take me home to meet your family exactly <laughs> and uh i don't know that just there's something there even though you know a picture is worth a thousand words where well here's the thousand words um that make the picture this is maybe 50 words <laughs> so it's like one pixel of the picture uh, and like, a few of them are lol and jk which are <laughs> representative of more words so we're, so we're 50 50 on tobes yeah toby you're getting some love but ah. Ooh, all right jess you want to read this one yes uh this is a good one this is rose armitage aka the white girl from get out <laughs> she's 28 from upstate new york she says, love a guy with a good brain. Must love tea. Celebrity crushes include Idris Elba, Michael B. Jordan, Kendrick Lamar, Mahershala Ali, dot, 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 you get it. Trust me, I'm one of the good ones. Basketball emoji. Mm. And the picture is uh, she's wearing all white, looking at a laptop, drinking a glass of milk with a straw. Oh, and the okay. So the pictures of her, her old crushes, are in the on the back yeah. wall. Yeah. Okay. Well, we worked that. Which in. is a little bit of a red flag. It's like I don't want her constantly thinking about like her right. past, her past. Her yeah. conquests. Like yeah. this is like move on. It's me now. Yeah. I also think I'm at a disadvantage because she clearly is into a certain race of of man. Mm-hmm. Celebrities. Yeah. A hundred percent. And uh, I don't know if we really vibe. Um, I'd say left personally. I just, I don't know. I'm not getting a fun vibe from her. Um, she's, um, too hot and like too clean. Um, like I think she showers like three times a day. Um, and yes, she does evil things. Um, but that, that gets me first. If we're just going quick, I'm like, mm, too clean. And how is there not chocolate all over that white shirt? 
I don't know. I, it's just a no for me. She's not my type. Um, well, Haley, not everyone eats cake like a Muppet <laughs> like you. <laughs> Throwing it into their mouth. Yay! <laughs> 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 With my felt hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, um, uh, luring in uh, black men and um, taking their body and doing operations on them. Um, you know, that's one bad thing. But also, you know, if I just surface level, not for me. Too clean. Yeah, this is also a, a left. Um, not to reiterate everything you're saying, but everything everyone's been saying. But uh, yeah, I don't like her look. It's a little weird that she has uh, pictures of past lovers on her uh, on her back wall. Um, I'm certainly not her type. And uh, <laughs> however, I do love tea. So uh, while we get along in that respect, in one respect, in that small three-word respect, uh, quick, let's swipe to the left. So here with Rose, I would say I am facing the thing that I'm that that really like is the most terrifying to me, <laughs> which is a white woman. Um, <laughs> And, you know, the thing about her is, is that I'm, I'm very attracted to her like this. I don't remember like what the actress's name is, um, but I thought she did a really good job in this role. I thought she was super hot. Um, and that is so much scarier to me. Yes. Um, so I, I mean, I have to, I have to swipe left on this because like, obviously, like, obviously she has some racial fetish issues that she needs to work out that also I don't have overlap with. Um, <laughs> not that it matters if I did have overlap with them. I really shouldn't <laughs> swipe right on her. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a swipe left for, for normal, just in my normal dating history. I have to swipe left on this yeah. woman for my own good. It's, it's too hot. It's almost insane because hypothetically, if anyone saw Allison Williams on or an Allison Williams type on Tinder, they'd be like, "Oh, swipe right on yeah, that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're all like, "Fuck no." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we know how how her story plays out, but even if we didn't, I'd be like, "No, she's too hot and too clean." And I, I just keep saying "too clean," which she's makes creepy. me sound like yeah. like a <laughs> disgusting well, <it's>, animal. <laughs> it's that I know that five years ago I would have been like, "Oh my god, swipe <laughs> right," and like because I. <laughs> have that feeling like deep in my bones i know that like i just have to go left i have to i have to be like no okay. deny that deny that feeling <laughs> uh, it's worth noting that Haley currently looks a lot like pig pen uh she's got like a dirty cloud and bugs all around her so i think the too clean thing is uh, <laughs> mostly a Haley original <laughs> And see, you're not scaring me right now. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <Big pen cloud. laughs> All right, so that is horror movie Tinder. We've got a lot of, we went over a lot of love. Uh, we, we broke a lot of hearts and we made some connections along the way. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Yes, uh, Jess, before we let you go, do you want to plug anything? Anything coming up? Yes, I would love to. I am uh, doing a half-hour stand-up taping with uh, Jess Solomon, who's also doing a half-hour on uh, October 26th at QED in Astoria. So that is October 26th. That will be super spooky, and yes. we're Ooh. we're excited for it. Excellent. Yes, yeah, very, very fun. Uh, thank you so much again for being here. This thank was you for having me. So much this was fun. a real treat. You are so funny. And this was this was a good time. And once again, this is the, the Meet Cute doing the Meet Spook. So come back every Monday in October and we'll have another little spooky treat for you. And if you don't like it, in November we'll go back to doing the podcast the regular way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the old plain milk version <laughs> of this pumpkin spice yeah. latte. If you don't like us doing something a little bit fun, <laughs> well then wait five weeks and we'll give you we'll give you the the plain Cheerios edition of the meat cute, mom. <laughs> All right, shall we sign out? Yes, I am Zach. And I'm Edward. And I'm Haley. It, horror, horror, oh, horror, 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 Tinder. Oh, kissy. Bye. Oh my bye. God, bye. <laughs>